Once we're rolling in focus and lit. We're lit. We're so lit and ready to go. Hey everybody, it's Lauren from Hop for Food, and today, guess what we're doing? Another recipe? Basically because when I planned to shoot today, I was not prepared. I had a busy week, and luckily I've come up with this format where I can do whatever I want for eight to 12 minutes. So recipe is where I just wander through my pantry and fridge, see what I have on hand, and make up a recipe. This is often how many of the Hot For Food recipes are created in the first place, and then I test them and test them and make sure they're good to kind of showcase to you. But here you'll see the whole development process take place where I tinker and think and experiment, and usually it turns out pretty darn good. So we just pray to the food gods first. Hope it all goes okay, everything's gonna be great. Love and light, let's go check out the fridge. We're stacked, but just a lot of bits and bobs, a lot of sauces and condiments as usual. Um, I have a lot of tomato-y things happening in here, just kind of left over from other cooking stuff. These are some canned fire roasted tomatoes, because I made some chili last week. Got some tomato paste, so we have the makings of something here. Pasta sauce, I don't know. I actually have a lot of tomatoes. <laughs> I have these two pieces of tomato. I have this tomato. I have these tomatoes on the vine. I like those ones. Herbs, chives, and uh, thyme. And parsley's also in there. And some lentils. These might be bad, though. <laughs> lentils don't really go bad, like, that quickly. These are fine. We could put some lentils in, like, a... S we could stuff the tomato with lentils. Little bit of parm. Lots of bread in here. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I forgot I had these. Okay, this is frozen, ready to eat falafel. These are good, I had them a while ago. Let's use those. Back over. So, okay, let's quickly fry up some falafel. Let's start there, and then we know we're gonna use our tomatoes. Maybe we stuff the lentils and the falafel in the tomato and roast them. I don't know, but then I could take the innards and make a sauce with my other tomato sauce stuff. And then pour that over top of the roasted falafel tomato thing. Maybe we serve that on the pasta. Is that a lot of food? That could be neat. Okay, I like that. Okay, well let's get this pan going and with the uh, some oil to do the falafel really quickly. It says, I think on here, that you can just fry them from frozen. For best results, take it out of the freezer and fry immediately in hot oil. Alrighty then. So you take some vegetable oil. We all know how to deep fry at this point if you watch Hot For Food. We don't need to do a huge deep fry. We can just do a shallow, nice layer of oil there. Okay. I think maybe we just use the small one. Do we, what if this one's a little big? They're all gonna stand up nice. So let's just trim the top. And we, we won't waste any of this. We'll use all of this for a tomato puree. Carefully, that's why I'm using this knife, because it's got long, thin, a long, thin tip. <laughs> just sort of cut out the center, I guess. I don't know. So scoop out all the water, the seeds. So you have something to work with. That's a nice thing to stuff. Let me get a baking dish. I think our oil might be hot. Let's try it out. Woo! <laughs> How about I use these tongs? Gonna flip the falafel. The falafel's only taking like, I don't know, four minutes total. Um, I got lots of pasta in the cupboard actually. This is like my supply shelf and prop shelf. So this looks cool, this pasta. It's like weird curly ribbons. Let's use that. Ooh, it's chickpea. Now everything's chickpea based. All right, so this is a chickpea pasta, falafel stuffed roasted tomato dish. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a better word. Okay, so I'm just gonna use uh, like an 8x8 baking dish for the tomatoes. 
hopefully they won't move around too much. Now let's make the falafel filling. And I just realized I do have parsley, so I wanna add a lot of herbs. I think parsley goes well, because it's kind of like a tabbouleh with falafel. So I'm gonna put that into the mix. Okay, so I'm going to roughly chop all this parsley. It's like half a cup of parsley. Okay, so there's our nice crispy falafels. Falafels. We'll add our parsley, some garlic. We could add the lentils in here if we need that. I don't know. Let's do it. Lentils going in. This is going to be a high protein dish. Let's add some salt and pepper. Little cumin. Again, we'll just taste this and see if we like it. I mean, if I like it. <laughs> I say we, because I think you're doing the same thing as me, but you're not. You're just watching, eating lunch or dinner. Some oregano, I think, is gonna be nice in here. A Little bit of lemon, yeah. You know what I wanna add? I have Italian vinaigrette, and I have Worcestershire, which I f friggin' can't say ever. I'm gonna add a little bit of that. That's gonna give it like more of like a, I don't know, meatiness. And a little bit of the dressing. So there's lots of flavor in this stuff. Yeah. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. <laughs> Put some chives in there, just cause I have them. So chives in, I don't think we need shallots or garlic. I don't know, I mean, you could, but I think it's good just like that. That bit of lemon juice, the acidity from the dressing, it's delicious. Okay, let's stuff these babies. Really stuff it in there. I wonder if we should put cheese on top. Anything that falls to the side will just get crispy, so who cares, just put it all in there. Oh, that looks nice. So, uh, I think just to get it, I don't know, just to add more stuff, because I always like putting more than less, this little bit of cashew, nutritional yeast, and sea salt will go on top nicely, I think. This dish is gonna be so good! Lovely, let's go in the oven with that. And I don't know how long it's gonna take, but we'll just watch it. You really want the tomatoes to get nice and juicy, so I'm gonna set it for 15 and then I'll check it. Remember, it's at 425. Our water is going, we're gonna boil this pasta. It smells a little like dog food. <laughs> Ugh, hopefully once we add sauce, we'll be okay. So we didn't put garlic or shallot or anything in the filling, so I think we can use like three cloves here. So just finely dice up the shallot. Let's get the pan going. What else? So, tomato-based, obviously. We'll use up the rest of the fire-roasted tomatoes, the tomato paste. This stuff, the Better Than Bouillon, is like a chicken-flavored vegan stock. I use it for a lot of different stuff, you've noticed. I use it a lot in the cookbook coming out next year, so you might wanna stock up. It just gives a lot of flavor to stuff, because um, it's a concentrated, flavored stock paste, so you dilute it with water. A little bit of olive oil. We'll go in with the shallot. You could mince your own garlic, obviously, but I just go like this. By now you know all my tools. Let's add a little bit of chili flakes so it's a little spicy for us. Make sure it's medium, medium low so you're not burning this. So once this is uh, softened, fragrant, smelling good to you, add the tomatoes. So let that simmer. I think we can even still add our paste right now. Fire roasted tomato, so that's gonna make it smoky. Just a bit of that stock paste I mentioned. Okay, so it's simmering, it's getting a little more concentrated, it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I have a pretty generous handful of fresh basil. I'm just gonna chop it up roughly and add some to the sauce now and leave some for garnish. We haven't added salt and pepper to this, have we? Been about 25 minutes. I think my oven got a little too hot at one point. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, I have also in the fridge, I had some 
vegan kind of st goat cheese style cheese. So we'll put this on top of our pasta, like crumbled, I think. Yeah. So let's, I think we can plate amazingly. That was fast. Check it out. It's falafel stuffed roasted tomato pasta. I'm quite pleased with myself, I have to say. This took in under an hour to do in real time, and it's delectable. The filling turned out amazing. Obviously, I tasted it when it came out of the oven, but having the right amount of filling and then having some excess there, it got nice and crispy. This sauce was so fast, and it's delicious. Mmm. Who made that tomato sauce? I did. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's taste these like fully stuffed tomatoes. I put some of that soft cheese on the top. Oh God, look at that. Okay, that's the tomato. Mm. Still nice and hot. Mmm, holy crap. I baked it for about 25 minutes at 425. I think at one point my oven went up to 450 by accident, so. Just keep an eye on them. As soon as the skin cracks like that, they're perfect. Oh my God. This is fucking ridiculous. And yeah, now you don't taste the weird chickpea pasta. It's like a flavor explosion. I can't even figure out where the flavor is. It's just like, I don't know, it all goes really well together. Oh my God, okay. Mm, I hope you guys try this or a version of I'm glad I added the lentils, because I think just with the falafel, it got a little bit soggy, right, from the liquid in the tomato. So then the lentils actually are more of the texture in there. But then you get the odd crispy bit of falafel. Mm. All right, well, there's another recipe. You see how my mind works. You see the mess I make in the kitchen, and hopefully it inspires you to cook up some love in your own kitchen using leftovers, stuff that you don't know what to do with, get the juices flowing, come up with something really interesting. If you make anything interesting, if you make your own recipe, please tag me at Hot For Food, hashtag Hot For Food. If you try something like this, let me know as well if you like it. Um, okay, there's a couple things going on next week. It's December, it's holiday time already, and I've got uh, my first holiday themed video coming at you. It's part of Kin's third annual a holiday cookie collaboration. So I'll be making Christmas cookies for y'all. Okay, and I teamed up with Chatelaine Magazine to work on a fun new series for their YouTube channel. And the series is called Vegan It, where we take classic comfort foods and show you how to vegan it. This week, I'm showing you how to vegan a Caesar salad. That's right, click the card up here to watch that right after I wrap up in a few seconds here. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll have some holiday themed videos for you. Before you know it, my cookbook's gonna be out. Hashtag Hot for Food Cookbook. Go pre-order it now. The link is below in the description. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you so much for watching and cooking with me and just, just being awesome. Bye.